former public service minister Priska Mupfumara has been acquitted of the 90 million US dollar National Social Security Authority NSSA fraud charges. Mupfumara, who is also believed to be an intimate partner of President Emerson Numingagwa, was cleared following a full trial. Mupfumara faced allegations of criminal abuse of office, accused of corruptly influencing a 90 million US dollar property development deal between NSSA and Drockard Enterprises. However, Deputy Chief Magistrate Ngoni Duna delivered a judgment on Saturday, acquitting her of all charges. The allegations centered on claims that Mupfumara had handpicked Drockard, a land development firm, without going to tender and pressured NSSA into entering an agreement with the company. However, Mdina ruled that since Mupfumara never sat on the NSSA board, she could not have been responsible for selecting Drockard Enterprises. In his ruling, Mdina stated, her cry that she may have been a mere victim is not far-fetched. The court comes to this conclusion because there is all the evidence. In black and white, that NSSA board proceeded on its own resolution in the execution of the Mzinia project, but the state persisted with her prosecution. The court found no evidence of meetings where Mupfumara was recorded forcing NSSA to engage Drakkar. Additionally, Nuna noted that the Procurement Regulatory Authority of Zimbabwe PRAZ provisions were superseded by a resolution from June 30, 2017, regarding the application on offtake housing projects and the engagement of a developer. He concluded, the only conclusion to be arrived at is that NSSA did not go to tender because they resolved not to do so. The accused was not part of the deliberations where that resolution was arrived at. If PRAZ regulations had applied to the projects, it was the responsibility of NSSA's legal advisors to inform the board. Nduna highlighted that the legal service department at NSSA failed to properly advise the board leading to the prosecution of Mupfumara based on the actions of others. Represented by Admire Rabaya of Rabaya and Kadambudza legal practitioners, Mupfumara consistently denied the allegations, arguing that her prosecution was motivated by individuals opposed to her loyalty to President Umningagwa during his tenure as vice president. She maintained that the selection of Drakkart was the board's responsibility, and the court agreed with her defense. Mupfumara was jointly charged with NSSA Director Barnabas Matanjura, who was discharged at the close of the state's case.